Yo, what is up everybody and welcome back to another Madden 20 online game. Today we have Patrick Mahomes and the Kansas City Chiefs going into Lambeau Field to take on Aaron Rodgers and the Green Bay Packers as Chris Jones making his mark early, shedding two and getting the sack. Third down, Jones shedding two again, but Rodgers finds Devontae Adams for the first down. We will be focusing on Jair Alexander today, the cornerback out of LSU now in his second year for the Green Bay Packers and especially earlier in the season, Alexander was getting a lot of hype as maybe the next shutdown cornerback in the NFL. That hype seems to have died down a little bit as the season has gone on, but nonetheless, Alexander's putting together a pretty good campaign for the Green Bay Packers and he does have an X-Factor ability of shutdown that we will be trying to act Activate today. First things first, Aaron Rodgers has Gambler activated, has a wide open Geronimo Allison, and straight up misses him. Okay, second down, Rodgers passing in traffic. We can't get it intercepted because we have Gambler. Well, we had Gambler. Now we do not have that X Factor, but third down. Now that the X Factor is off, Aaron Rodgers is back on his game trying to hit Jamal Williams for the touchdown, but unfortunately Williams can't make the catch. Second down, passing again at the one yard line and getting rejected again. Third down, this time we connect with Jimmy Graham. I feel like last time we should have gotten the touchdown to Jimmy, but that defender who was guarding the running back was in the area to swat it, so I motioned the running back over, so that wasn't a problem, and thankfully we got Graham that time. So now, Jair Alexander takes the field, and he definitely has a tough task today going against Patrick Mahomes and Tyreek Hill, McCole Hardman, Sammy Watkins. This is quite the stacked offense, but hopefully Alexander can hold his own as we come out straight up. Man coverage, and Alexander gets the intercept and Alexander has a lane to try to go for six. He nearly picks this, pick sixes it, but more importantly, that activates shutdown. It either takes three forced incompletions or an interception to get shutdown activated, and bam, just like that. We have the X Factor for Alexander whenever we get back on defense, which might be after we mess up this third down and goal. My opponent is sending all out pressure right there, and I didn't really call plays that were well prepared for that, so we end up selling for the field goal. It's all good, as long as we keep this guy in the game, that's fine by me because we got to see what this shutdown is all about. Who is Alexander going to be shutting down? I don't know because, you know, I'm not even sure this X-Factor ability can contain, you know, a Tyreek Hill or something like that as far as speed. Right now he's on Sammy Watkins and he's absolutely jamming Watkins as my opponent tries to find Hill. That's not going to work. Second down, Mahomes is definitely passing on this play and he's probably not passing to Sammy Watkins who once again is absolutely covered. Mahomes escaping away and Patrick Mahomes takes the hit from Adrian Amos and because of that hit, it's actually not a first down in the scramble. That is... 9 out of 30 yards allowed for the uh, shutdown counter as third down. Here's Mahomes just getting it off. The pass is late and incomplete intended for Damian Williams. Fourth down. Same setup here. Same look. We're definitely going to see a pass from Mahomes. Once again, Alexander trying to do his thing, but he's lost a step to his man as Mahomes goes to McCole Hardman. Thankfully, we have about three or four more Green Bay Packers in the area. That will be an incompletion, a turnover on downs, and... The rage quit. And that's about it for this guy. He has, uh, he, he paused the game. He could have easily quit, but he paused the game and said, nah, dashboard. All right, maybe he just turned his Xbox off. I don't know, but definitely an interesting way to rage quit out of a game. But that can't be it for the video. That's a bit too short. So we'll hop into another game. This time we're going against the Dallas Cowboys. And this should feature a prominent matchup of... Jair, Jair Alexander, that's a bit of a tricky name to get, right? And Amari Cooper as we go middle for Devontae Adams who makes the catch. Earlier this season, the Packers and the Cowboys played. And Jair Alexander got his only interception to date in the 2019 NFL season. But he also gave up, like, what, 200 yards to Amari Cooper? Amari kind of had his lunch, dinner, had a bit of dessert as well. As my opponent going downfield, there's Cooper, but there's also Darnell Savage getting the interception. That wasn't Jair territory, but nonetheless, an interception for this Green Bay defense. And, of course, to get Jair in the zone, you know, four, three incompletions has to be on the receiver that Alexander is covering. Right now, absolutely no one is covering Aaron Jones. That's a touchdown. I realized that on the play before, so I ran hurry up 
on that play, I was like, all right, so Aaron Jones is going to get open again. If he doesn't change his defense, like, I realized I had an open guy, but Aaron Jones was about to get a touchdown. Thankfully, whatever match coverage defense he tried to run both times did not work as Tavon Austin makes the catch with Kevin King, you know, trying to get a piggyback ride on him. So with the Green Bay Packers, you know, their cornerbacks are okay, especially in Madden. Alexander, you know, he's the shutdown guy. He's not a true shutdown cornerback. Like, you know, he's not primed to rub Revis in Madden. Like, you can't put him manned up, even though he has the manned up superstar ability and expect him to be shutting guys down and taking them out the game. Like, I played a game against the Minnesota Vikings while trying to make this video, and I'll tell you guys right now, you guys will not see that game because trying to play man coverage against the Minnesota Vikings is not really the move, all right? Because they got Diggs and they got Thielen. Oh, man, we have the famous Amos. Do not put your hands in the cookie jar, especially when the famous Amos is the man patrolling the area. We get the interception. Still, not much to do with Jair Alexander so far, but this Packers defense doing pretty well against Dak Prescott and the Cowboys, which, you know, prior to this season, you just think of the Cowboys as a running team. Now, you know, Dak's out here leading the league in passing yards, doing his thing. Aaron Rodgers always doing his thing. Finding Marquez Valdez scaling. I don't know where in the world he was going with a woozy, but thank you very much. That'll guarantee us a touchdown, and that puts the Green Bay Packers defense back on the field, and that's what we want, man. Maybe he wants to play offense, but I want to play defense, so... Whatever in the world he did works out for me, but he's not going to be playing offense for long because once again, we're being savages out here, getting the interception, finding a wide open Jamal Williams out the backfield, running over the poor fella. Aaron Rodgers is off to quite the hot start. Oh, it's not quite going to continue because Devontae Adams can't make the catch in the end zone. Second down, Valdez scaling. He does get two and two feet inbounds. Oh, Rodgers with the shuffle at the one-yard line. We are not really running the ball at all. And that's mainly because I'm just having a lot of fun throwing the ball with Aaron Rodgers. Like, Aaron Rodgers is so much fun to use in Madden 20 as third down and goal. We are looking for Devontae Adams. Barbecued chicken alert. That poor man of Woozy's getting roasted and toasted. It is just bad. It's ugly scenes for that poor fella. <laughs> that was... That was just Devontae Adams doing his thing. Not much else he could say about it. Oh, no. Don't do it again. Why are you trying to go into the cookie jar when the famous Amos is in the area? Oh, no, no, no. Watch out. Stop it. Throw somewhere else. Hopefully throw it to Jair Alexander's area. Third down. No, oh, he gets away with it. Finding Ezekiel Elliott. And Elliott gets the first down. This game has gotten pretty ugly at this point. And this guy might be close to rage quitting. So we might not get much from Alexander. But all of a sudden, my opponent goes downfield. Looking for Tavon Austin, who had a step. But a spectacular swat from Alexander will Get the counter going at one out of three. Unfortunately, Alexander can't do much trying to guard the rushing attack of Ezekiel Elliott. I believe he got pancaked right there. So, yeah, that's not what we're here to see. But my opponent, I think he realized, yeah, the Cowboys are probably a good running team. Ezekiel Elliott's a good running back. Let me, let me try doing this even though I'm down 21 to zero. Something's got to start working for me. Instead, he goes back to the passing game after the run on first down gets stopped. And he throws to the fullback. Out of all the weapons the Cowboys have in the passing attack, the fullback is not really the first option you think of. Jason Witten's somewhere in there, though. Even though, you know, he's old man Jason Witten. Like, he can surely move the chains every once in a while for you. Next play. Same play from my opponent, it looks like. As Prescott forcing the action. That's nearly intercepted. That was thrown at Alexander. And that will raise the counter by one again. So we are one forced in completion. Remember, it's either an interception or three forced in completions, which we are working working on right now as that's going to be Preston Smith with the sack. No huddle from my opponent. He doesn't care to use his timeouts. Third and 14. Prescott, the rowing end zone. And once again, Kevin King trying to get a piggyback right. This time he's able to force the incompletion. Fourth down. Going for it is Prescott moving the pocket. Going cross body. And that will be swatted by Jair Alexander. So that will activate shutdown for Alexander. That is Three fourths incompletions for the second year man out of LSU. So when we get back on defense, we will have Alexander activated. First things first, the first half is not done just yet. Aaron Rodgers is trying to score more points for this Packers offense. Look at Rodgers rolling, throwing to perfection. And that will allow Mason Crosby to easily boot home a 46-yard field goal at the end of the first half. The reason why I say Rodgers is so much fun to use in this game. One you guys saw there, his throws on the run are pretty much all perfect since he has dashing dead eye. He also has the fastest throwing release in the game, so... 
you know, he just gets these quick zip passes off, especially when you try and throw to Devontae Adams. It's a whole lot of fun just trying to air it out with the Packers. As you see, Alexander is lit up, but my opponent is trying to nullify that by running the ball down 24 to 0. I mean, he has four rushes for 47 yards. It's not a bad idea, but the fullback dive? I don't know about that one. Tony Pollard up the middle, and that was definitely a design fullback dive. You put the backup running back in that fullback. Third down, Noah Huddle. Here is Prescott. He's going at Alexander, and that's going to be a one-handed interception. Guarding Amari Cooper, one of the top wide receivers in the NFL, and Alexander absolutely blanketed him. And he has the shutdown activated. My opponent had to know better. It's like you got to double a double me receiver. You better make sure you do not throw to a cornerback with shutdown activated like that. Especially on a streak. I mean, that's easy pickings. Thank you very much. I'll see you uh, maybe never to my opponent. He rage quits out the game. So we're going to move into at least one more game here. This time we're going against the Seattle Seahawks. And they're doing a pretty good job of guarding this passing attack so far of Aaron Rodgers, who has time on third down. Downfield. And that's going to be intercepted by Bradley McDougal. What a play there by McDougal. Just kind of mossing our receiver. But, you know, it's all right. We'll bring the defense on the field. And, unfortunately, we won't be seeing Russell Wilson pass. He will be scrambling. Of course, Russell Wilson has a skate artist, but he also has a wide open DK Metcalf. Throwing at the neck of Kevin King, who seems to be the popular target for our opponents. That's Josh Gordon, who can't make the catch. He absolutely burnt Alexander, but thankfully it was an overthrow. Second down here is Wilson scrambling. He wants to throw it, but no one's open. He smartly throws it away. Third down and 10. Lock it in motion and lock it on the out route. He's got a step. He's got a touchdown for Russell Wilson. Man, I tried to just snipe that one, but... He got away with it, man. He kind of put his hands in the cookie jar and got away with it. I was a bit of a step off right there. So we'll keep that in mind. In the meantime, here is the Aaron Rodgers to the Devontae Adams connection I've been hyping up. I'm telling you, man, I just, I just had a lot of fun playing with the Packers. I probably played more games than I should have with the Green Bay Packers. Even though I was trying to get, you know, Jair Alexander in the zone. I was just like, man, I just want to pass this ball with Rodgers. I, didn't, I don't think I ran the ball once. In any of the games I played with the Packers while I was recording this stuff because I just kept on wanting to pass the ball. Here's Rodgers zipping it in. Most running or most quarterbacks, they throw that ball. It takes a bit too long to get there. But Aaron Rodgers, man, he gets the job done as Aaron Rodgers scrambling. Is that a first down? Yes, it is. First down goal for the Packers. Jadavion Clowney. That's a man you probably want to block. So as a result, we lose a lot of yards. Second down, Rodgers rolling. Nothing open, though. We just got to take the sack there. Unfortunately, not the best play calling out here. I keep, I don't know why I keep on coming out of this pistol. But check it out. Third down. Open. Oh, no. About the scaling had it, but... I don't know what happened, but it wasn't even a catch. At the very least, it could have been fourth down and goal at the one, but I don't know if he rolled over Devontae Adams, but whatever happened there, it ends up being incomplete. We end up settling for the field goal as Rashad Penny taking the kickoff out. Rashad Penny has definitely been turning up lately, especially with the Chris Carson fumble problems. The Seahawks have definitely been looking at Penny to kind of stabilize that position, and he's doing a pretty good job so far, especially for a guy that was, you know, talked about as a trade target at the deadline so of course the Seahawks have Russell Wilson they have the rushing attack so all is good they have Josh Gordon so especially in Madden they're pretty deadly with Lockett Gordon Metcalf second down that's Josh Gordon who's not going to get the catch Jair Alexander with the SWAT you can definitely tell Alexander is getting some pretty great animations trying to guard these passes as third down we're not going to keep on getting torched by this out route stuff to Tyler Lockett all right you got do something else actually on second thought have another out route to Tyler Lockett I really thought he would do something different man but you know he decided you know what I'm gonna keep on working this surely you know that was a fluke and it's a good idea for him now he goes baby out route to Tyler Lockett and it's gonna work and we probably have to get someone besides Adrian Amos guarding Lockett in man coverage third down and two this time it's intercepted all right Amos you've got the job done and not only that Adrian Amos is Gone! The 20, the 10, the 5. The Packers grabbed the lead with a minute 19 left in the first half. And that's cool because 
the defense steps back on the field. I love playing with Aaron Rodgers, but, you know, the, the task at hand is getting Jair Alexander going. As you see, Alexander kind of gives up a step, but my opponent doesn't test that one. Maybe he was getting a little bit of flashbacks. Maybe not. He's going at Alexander, who once again makes a play on the ball. Even though he's beat on the play, Josh Gordon is looking like he's got himself a touchdown. Alexander gets the swat. That's now two out of three on the counter. Russell Wilson, third down. Out route's not open, but the in route, the Josh Gordon is. And you see what I'm saying? Jair Alexander's not true lockdown corner. Like, he can get beat and beat pretty badly sometimes. You see there, I had to cover for Alexander with Savage because... He was about to give up a touchdown. As you see, once again, he's kind of giving up a step, but then the in route. That's where Alexander kind of makes his money, man. These short routes, that manned up superstar ability really comes in clutch. Third down and long, Russell Wilson is going to go down. Kenny Clark meets him for the loss, and on fourth down, here comes Savage blocking the punt, and Savage on the recovery, and this man is a true Savage, because he's going to score the touchdown as well. Oh, man, did you see that one coming? How about a blocked punt for your troubles? Ha! <laughs> That's definitely a game changer because it was most likely going to be a three-point game heading into the locker room. Now, it's a ten-point game, and off the back of a pick six... And a block punt return for a touchdown as that's going to be swatted by Kevin King. And interestingly enough, that's going to force the rage quit. So, you know, that gives you a little bit of an inside scoop that my opponent's blood is probably boiling after we block that punt for a touchdown. Who would be happy about that? We kind of just snuck him right there. Got a nice little time block punt. You know, we came out like a massively heavy block punt formation and... You know, Savage is being a savage out here, as you will see that we are skipping the offensive drive in this fourth and final game we are showing in this video because, you know, my Aaron Rodgers affection show needs to end. Like, we got to stop showing that Packers offense. We we got to get at least Alexander to zone one more time, right? Like I said, man, I played with this team so much. I was like, you know what? Like, I'll just, I, I'm just having fun, right? I'm actually having fun playing the game. A lot of times I record these videos and get people in the zone. I'm done. Once I get their X, X Factor activated, I'm good, right? Like, once or twice, but... You know, the Packers, I was just kind of chill and having fun with them. But unfortunately, we're going against the Packers or the Cowboys once again. And this time, this guy is a little bit more invested in the ground attack to the point where he had a triple option look right there and handed it off to Tony Pollard for the touchdown. So we're going to skip the offensive drive fourth down. Rodgers wide open, man. I don't know what it is about Aaron Rodgers, but he's he's selling right now. He's straight up selling me out. Like, come on. He's... These are wide open passes in the seams, and both of them probably touchdowns, so, you know, we will stay at a 7-2-7 game. This time, we're more prepared to stop the run, so hopefully we can force Dak Prescott to pass in the area of Jair Alexander. Doesn't happen there. Instead, he tried to do whatever that was, and Brett Maher, no good. I mean... The joke usually is with the Cowboys is that Maher, as we get the touchdown here to Valdez Scantling, is, you know, really good from, like, long distance, kicking, like, 60-yard field goals, but anything else he seems to shank nowadays, but there he shanked the long one, so what has he got going for himself? What do we got going for ourselves right now? Absolutely nothing, because Amari Cooper just burnt Kevin King like some toast left in the toaster for about 10 minutes too late. As you see, he goes to the same exact play, and it's a different result, but it's even better. That's Michael Gallup to the one-yard line. Here's Ezekiel Elliott. Oh, wow, I did not score a touchdown on that play. The blocking was beautiful. Second down, go right back to it, but we get the shed from Preston Smith, and now things are getting interesting. Third down Zeke in that fullback and Zeke in for the touchdown eventually he does punch it in and we actually ended up getting a touchdown even though there wasn't much time left in the first half we quickly marched downfield with Aaron Rodgers and the boys and got the touchdown right back so we made it back a seven point game and you know hopefully I could get my guy to throw the ball because he's definitely trying to run the ball first but if we could put him behind the score we can get him to pass and you know, eventually we'll stop this one passing play he keeps on trying to do and it's definitely not going to happen when we're playing deep over the top at the end of the first half maybe it will work if we're using kenny clark uh yeah that's not really the move and here comes mars 61 yards this is his range but once again he shanks the kick it could be a one point game heading to halftime but brett maher is kind of the difference in this one and especially with the cowboys getting ball i have 
Really a game changer that this guy can't seem to make kicks as Ezekiel Elliott getting the carry. Once again, we got to stop this rushing attack. we got to sell out to stop this rushing attack, which we are doing. And now we'll see if we can get Dak Prescott to make a mistake or something. Maybe get him to get tricked up. Maybe not. You will find Tony Pollard on a wheel route for the first down. And yeah, not what I'm expecting. Like I got to cover the running backs too. Like... Man, I'm, I'm a little bit scared that Alexander might just get absolutely torched. You see, he's got pretty good coverage on that drag route. Oh, wow, he threw it anyways. Oh, so late of a throw from Dak. And Cooper trying to make the tackle to save his quarterback from getting absolutely burned. It doesn't work. Alexander gets the touchdown. This would activate shutdown, but... My opponent actually rage quits after the, we kick the PAT, so we won't get to see shutdown activated once again on Amari Cooper. So that will be just about it for today's video. Uh, a lot of footage on Jair Alexander today, man. If you were looking for some Jair Alexander action, man, you better be satisfied. <laughs> Leave a like on the video if you guys enjoyed the game. Subscribe for more Madden 20 gameplays, and I will catch you guys next time. Thank you, as always, for watching.